impacting a lot of people we'll see you every tuesday on the well metaverse podcast peace Easy. i don't know why i chuck deuces <laughs> like i don't i don't chuck deuces what, what was that <laughs> what's up yes sir yes sir you still had the groove going on i still had the groove man <laughs> i still had the groove goodness welcome back my brother welcome back thank man. you thank you man uh had to call this episode the eye of the storm because last week was a busy week of travel and this week's going to be pretty crazy too. And right now I get to take a beat and just hang out with you and everybody who's watching. So that's cool. Sweet. And uh, man, we're so glad to see every, all of our YouTube friends hanging out with us today. Thank you all for being so here. Facebook is back up. So <laughs> some, of, some of our folks are, are probably watching on Facebook, but yeah, that was that was a little panic inducing earlier. Uh, like our, our discord channels never had so much traffic. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. The discord was really helping with all of the discord. <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know if discord is like, it causes discord or. <laughs> yeah. Alma Jean. I know happening? Alma Jean. Kimberly Ann says she's ready for whatever storm heads her way. Yeah. That's Dude, cool. You know, we, we ought to just start with her comment each time because she always cues it up. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, storms aren't always bad. Like like last week, man, one of the funnest weeks I've had. Busy, busy, busy. But just a super fun and exciting week. And, of course, uh, coming up, uh, actually, Thursday, Ace the Base is – landing in Grand Rapids and people are kind of trickling in. Uh, and then of course, uh, Saturday, we've got our big show, uh, with laugh fest and man, let's go. It's happening, dude. It's, it's all happening. happening. It is happening, brother. So exciting, brother. Man. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's good. So last, so the first week we just had, uh, it was, hey, Don, it was right? Lolly D oh. and Jay Dunn and I, and then last week, it was just me flying solo. What was amazing is, and I know both all three of us can do it. We can fly solo. But what's amazing is how different flying solo is from having you a Lolly D here. Yeah. 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 Speaking of Lolly D, let's, let's bring her out for a yeah, minute. Yeah, let's bring her out. How are you, my Morning. friend? Hey, Egg McMuffin. Missed you, Jason, Ooh. but I but I watched you a little bit. You 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 can fly solo just fine. You do great solo. I couldn't do that. Just sit there and just come up with it. You did great. It was oh yeah, it was fun. You know, we survived, but it wasn't the same without the squad. Yeah, yeah. but I have to say, I did get to have uh, dinner with Aaron and the boss Renee, which was super <laughs> awesome. It Let's was go. great. It was really fun. Uh, that was so fun. Oh, that, that was, was awesome. that was great to get to hang out. Is, it rude, to eat, is, it, is it rude to eat with y'all? I, I no, a, do it, do it. Yeah, I got a late breakfast, man. I, yeah. I have my breakfast all the time back here while you guys are talking. <laughs> so I'm always <laughs> eating. I'm sure you see me doing that. Um, is, yeah, is that why every point. once in a while when we bring you out, we see? Yeah, yeah, she be going. Oh <laughs> crap! Uh, but, um, now the only thing different about Aaron in person than real life was usually I'm looking at him eye to eye. Yeah, not so much in real life. Not so much. He's a good foot taller than me. <laughs> so that he was is. fun. He's a giant. Um, but it was a good time. Great, and, and I hope and you enjoyed LA. My legs reach all the way to the ground, which is nice. You yeah. Know, <laughs> yeah, I do have that problem. We won't we won't talk about that. Anyway. <laughs> All right, I'll let you two get to it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that that was so fun. Uh, you know, cuz you know people so well from spending time with them in virtual reality, mm -hmm. from spending time with them producing shows on on this, you know, and and all that stuff. But when you sit down and share a meal 
uh, with somebody, that's a that's a another type of connection, and it's oh, it was it was lovely <laughs> to be able to sit down and have a meal with someone is absolutely one of the most one of the greatest privileges. That's mm -hmm. why I'm eating with you all today. Hey, there it is. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. So, well, welcome everybody. We're we're having meals together. I got I got a little uh, polar polar seltzer. So let's I'll, go. We'll break bread and drink together. Hey, yeah. I know some of y'all. It's cool to see your actual beautiful faces. Hey, all right, all right. Yeah, cool stuff. Cool stuff. So, um, so yeah, I know, I know one of the big things that I kind of wanted to talk about today was like that, that calm in the middle of busy. And I know you experience that all the time, uh, both the busy and, and needing to find that calm. Huh? Right. I'm like, what is life without it? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That actually exists. Aztec says breaking bread is true fellowship. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fellowship. And that's, that's one of them, uh, words that it can be easily misunderstood but yeah indeed i think it's just uh a couple fellows that are on a boat together <laughs> <laughs> that is great i actually snorted i don't know if you heard that that was great <laughs> so man so what's been down the yeah go ahead go ahead jace so what's been your um what's been the the business in which you've had to have a sense of calm, calm in the middle of it. So, um, you, you know, last week uh, I had the opportunity to go out to LA uh, for some exciting stuff. I can't really talk about the details of that. I know uh, it. So what? Uh, yeah. 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 But, um, but it's really exciting stuff and it's, and it's another level. Like uh, we're, we're leveling some things up, uh, which is really cool. Uh, it's, it's awesome to see what's happening in the soapstone where we've got, um, a very accessible platform that uh, um, people can come in and find their spotlight on stage. Yeah. And they can go through and advance and become superstars. They can join the team and become a certified soapstone producer, a mentor, a, a marquee host even. And um, and then now as we're starting to produce some other shows, you know, um, you know, we're, we've got some of the best in the business that are going to be coming through uh, doing their thing. So it's uh it's really, really cool to see this uh, cornucopia of comedic talent of all different levels uh, coming together to to support each other. It's awesome. So good. So yeah. good. So what's been like, man? As you get to do this stuff, man, what's the what would you say is the highlight? Now, well, give me two because I already know what one of them is going to be. But what's the what's the highlight for you and being able to have these meetings, seeing seeing soapstone position to level up. Two so, or three highlights. Yeah. 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 I mean, for me, by far the most exciting thing about the soapstone is seeing this community grow together and and work together. You know, it's it's awesome to see these spotlights get brighter and bright, brighter. Um, you know, and uh, Sturm says, uh, how, how do we recover from the outage? Yeah, we're, we're making it. That was terrifying earlier this morning when uh, half the world went down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so that's, uh, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's been cool to see people find their lane and be able to, um, to thrive through it. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's been the most exciting thing. Um, thinking ahead to the future uh, is also very exciting, mm. um, you know, and you need that. You need to be looking ahead to the future, but not at the expense of the moment. You know, it's it's uh, <laughs> tweet that that is great. That is uh, that's worth that's worth the uh, Instagram threads. Yeah, all right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So way, that, are, you, are you on Instagram threads? Uh, we're, we're, uh, so, um, David and Brooke are, our marketing company. Uh, my friend Owen That's over right. there, man, this dude, like he, he gets it done. Like, it's amazing how much, um, they're able to accomplish over there. 
Uh, and it, it, by the way, they select clips. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the clip that they select <laughs> to share. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe yeah. I need to. Maybe I need to get with them, man. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, it's they're they're really good. Like they and so the thing about them, like uh, Owen, the the owner of David and Brooke, he was a young guy coming out of college, and started working at this ad agency, and then the um, the owner of the ad agency was like, "Hey, guess what?" Uh, I'm going to head over and just start working full time at our biggest client. And I'm taking the rest of the agency uh, with me. Uh, thanks for your thanks for your work as an intern. Uh, we'll we'll see you soon. And he and Owen's like, hey, how about if I buy it from you? And yeah. so, you know, so he ended up stepping into not only running a marketing agency, but entrepreneurship and that whole journey. So wow. like when I see something like that and I see a story like that, um, man, oh man, like that just like, that's where it's at. Like those Dude, are the people. We need to have him on here then, man. We do. We do need to have him on here. Uh, yeah. Great. Lolly uh, backstage. Let's, let's put that on the radar to get Owen uh, on as a, as a guest. Um, yeah. But, uh, but anyway, the, the, that's the long story to say, yeah, man, he's got us on threads. <laughs> that's great yeah dude I, yeah. i've uh i've lost some weight man nice yeah. nice what are you down i don't um i could i could fit the jeans that i couldn't pull up uh, above my thighs that 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 weight <laughs> uh congrats man that's, that's i mean it's all about the jeans like yeah i i also had a a pretty pretty groovy jeans experience uh, in the fact that Renee looked at me wearing my jeans and she's like, you got to go get new jeans. Those things are falling off of you. And, uh, and sure enough, um, I went up and, you know, a couple sizes smaller. So let's go. Not that <laughs> yeah. we're marketing jeans, but, uh, do you have a preferred jean company? So I like, uh, lucky brand jeans. Uh, yeah. like, I mean, they just, they just, they seem right. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. and on on the outside of the zipper it says lucky you and on the inside of the zipper it says lucky me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never noticed that. It's a win-win, you know. And and unlucky us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, little li little humor like that. I'm I'm a fan of. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, I uh that's hysterical. I lost my words. I uh I, I think so I, I like lucky jeans, I like AG jeans and page. Those are my three jeans. Hmm. Yeah, I really I really like those three. So Renee uh <laughs> Bart says uh welcome to well, well metaverse after dark. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, indeed. Yeah, that was yeah, that, that was, was an innocent one though. That was that was innocent. That was yeah, that's right. Sturm yeah. has a comment too. And in reference to the spotlight getting brighter, when I joined the soapstone, I was just a regular customer. Uh, but when I joined the team, I went from a customer to a CSP to a CSM and now the host of my own show. Sturm, you you know, uh yeah, we, we could have almost called this the the eye of the Sturm, <laughs> the show, because Man, you you are a storm. You uh, to be reckoned with. You uh, watching you thrive, and watching you find your lane, and watching you find that spotlight. It's it's been incredible, man. You are you are one of the people that my heart just warms every time I think of you and the journey that you've been on uh, with so us. Good. Yeah, it's it's man. I love even you see this. Sturm, I, I, I've seen Sturm, I've seen you go from the engaging person who was engaging people to now you're the person who is leading people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's, uh, and it, it's it's great. It's 
I, we got to bring I, Lolly out too because I see her nodding, nodding her head. Yeah, she works very closely with Sturm. <laughs> Sturm's my right hand man, has been for a long time. Sturm is a uh, leads world tours, so he comes up with suggestions for me all the time for worlds to go see, and he's my producer on Let's Talk About It. He's always at Good Morning Soapstone. Uh, you said about me one time, if I tell you I'm going to be there, I'll be there. Let me tell you, that boy is always there. Always. I, I don't even think about it. He's right there. And if I'm missing something, he's right there to remind me. So thank you, Sturm, for all the help you give me, too. He's really In, great. Indeed. So, indeed. Yeah. Mr. John Williams says, for those who are unaware, what does CSM and CSP stand for? That's a great question. Country sweet music <laughs> yeah. and country sweet people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that's what it stands for now. No. <laughs> No, uh, so we have in, in the soapstone um, in world, we've got ways that people can earn applause points and advance through the ranks and become a soper star um, outside of the world through uh, discord.gg slash soapstone. Um, we've got kind of the organization, the soapstone organization. And uh, Bart says chronically super uh Super personalities. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the name of my next book, actually. <laughs> um, but but the CSPs are certified soapstone producers. Those are people that we've um, gotten to know. They've gotten to know us. They've adopted the culture of the soapstone, and we certify them. We give them the stamp of approval, saying they can produce. Uh, experiences and shows uh, in in any setting at the Soapstone. And a certified Soapstone mentor, um, that's a level that some people advance to after CSP, uh, where they, um, they're people that we've given that stamp of approval on to take other people under their wing and help, uh, help them uh, go through the process of advancing in the Soapstone. So great question. I, I, I love uh, those questions. Kimberly Ann, and we have leads. Not the kind you find in a number two pencil. Yeah, they're not leads. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're not leads. We do. Uh, we have a team of leads uh, that's incredible. In fact, I just received a gift uh, from from the leads when I had dinner with Lolly D. Uh, so she good. gave me this gift. This is a coffee mug. I know those. Look people. at these beautiful people. So good. CSPs and CSMs are the heart and the backbone of our great events at the Soapstone. Indeed. Bars. She True, with truer that. words have never been spoken. And how appropriate uh, that it come from Alma Jean, who is our advancement lead. Uh, and she is the one that uh, that really helps usher people along through that advancement process. It's not a totally well-defined process. It's not like you check box A, B, C, and D, and then you get it. It's much more so you integrate. You have a heart for the community. You have a heart for the club, and, and you start doing. And then at some point in that process, uh, you know, you're, you'll be recommended uh, to the lead team and then, uh, and then advance through it. So, yeah, people, people come in and... <laughs> and if you can't hack it as a CSM, you become a, you become a lead. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, it was funny. We were doing uh, uh, intros for the lead team and I had to do an intro and it's like, what do I do? Like, I mean, I got leads that, that do everything that <laughs> like, what, <laughs> you know, what, what do I do? <laughs> but that's great. I laugh a lot, which is, yeah, but I also think I think what 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 you do is is very important, uh, and to as as Kimberly Ann says, and cheers to all the con contributors. Mm, yeah, but I think it's important in the, in the busyness of of life, and in order to find calm in this in the middle of the the busyness, it's important to have the right people on the team. It's important to have team first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, and they they will allow you uh, to do what you do. And even there's a being yourself and being able to do what you're good at and not having to do menial tasks actually pre presents a sense of peace in the midst of the busyness. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I, I, this past week was a great example of that. 
you know, um, I had to focus a hundred percent of my energy and attention and focus on the task at hand. And there were thousands of other things that were happening in the soap zone, quite literally thousands of other experiences over the course of that week. And to know that, um, that I've got this lead team that works with our CSM, CSPs, contributors to keep the culture of the soapstone going, to keep the operations of the soapstone going. And then at the same time, we're in the middle of a rebuild. You know, yeah. we're we're like, there is a lot of stuff happening uh, behind the scenes. And the build team, Inspire Create Labs. Ba -ba -da -ba! <laughs> Inspire Create Labs. You know, I mean, these these guys, again, like just a confidence, a con I, I had a confidence and the and because of that confidence in them, I had the ability to wholeheartedly pour myself into and focus on what I needed to. Um, Bart Pickett, you know, saying good things happening. Uh, this dude stepped it up <laughs> last week and we we did. Um, let's see, I guess uh, we did. 12 two-part shows last week with with audience signups and and a whole bunch of stuff uh you know behind the scenes and he helped us uh helped us get our um poop in a group <laughs> he helped <laughs> us get get organized to where um the the hoops that everybody kind of had to jump through to be uh be able to come be a part of this uh he yeah. helped us manage that and then of course lolly d and lunch lady um as far as executing getting people in the right place at the right time focused on the right things uh it was amazing, amazing. Man, i don't know if yeah shout out to you bart man just the dude yeah do you literally bring continents together <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure for yeah. sure he does yeah. Yeah. The, world, the world literally is a better place because of you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I, but I mean, I think about Lunch Lady, man. So the Candace Cameron podcast went yeah. live, and man, Lunch Lady was showing up in Candace Cameron Burr world, man, giving shouts out. And I was like, shit, man, that is so like Lunch Lady, consistently encouraging, bro. Uh, indeed, it, uh, you know. Again, the, the people that we have on this team, like they got they've got a heart for others. Yeah. Uh, you know, each each person on the team is their own personality and 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 uh they're in their own person, but together, like man, watch out because it, it is one of those situations where the the sum is much greater. Wait, the whole is much greater than the sum of the parts. Yeah. Uh, uh, and yeah, lunch lady's awesome. Let's see, Sturm said uh, oh. Uh, I'll, I'll pull this one right up. What is as to what Aaron does? Uh, do you think you're like the godfather of the soapstone sitting in some chair with a dude ushering people in saying <laughs> to see the Don? We'll see you now. All right, all right. <laughs> He's the Phil Jackson to the Chicago Bulls. Day when I will ask a favor, and that day may never come, <laughs> but if it does, <laughs> that's pretty good, my friend. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, compared to all the other impressions that we try to get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ranking yeah. them relative. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we are a well oiled machine. It's, 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 uh, it's impressive to see, uh, to see everybody come together and, and play in their role. And, uh, <laughs> and that's <laughs> but here it is. So, Sorrel, uh, Sorelion. Sorelion. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> that is so Man. Cool. So Renee, I got to take a, a, a one day of just uh, kind of re not really relaxing, but just a day to do some fun stuff out in L.A. Uh, we we decided to go to the Galaxy's Edge uh, and uh, over at Disney Disneyland. And that was a lot of fun. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Disneyland is fun. It it literally is a small world after all, though. <laughs> it is. We we avoided that uh, like the plague. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I, so what? What else is busy in in your world, or what else? What is? What is? What did the man say? I mean, everybody knows what business is. What's calming, like in the midst of your busy world? So, you know, being back home was really soothing to my soul. You know, yeah. to to come back in and just the comfort of my own bed and my own pillows and and the living room and you know this morning making coffee uh, with my pour over coffee thing, you know, all of that uh, together was, it, it just, it brings upon a, a real sense of peace. Dude, it's, it's amazing. My one, my, my dad's best friend, who's this amazing, amazing guy, PhD and whatever. I mean, dude, this is amazing. One day I was, I did an event, a comedy show in his town for, for him actually. And, of course, they hosted me. I didn't go to a hotel, and I'm in the morning. In, in the morning, I'm cu- I'm doing my my oatmeal healthy oatmeal routine. I'm cutting up my grapes, you know, just being a little systematic, you know. And uh, and I sat down to eat, and he said, "See, that's part of the reason what what makes you great." He said, "It's little things like that that consistently keep you in a routine that mm-hmm. actually help you center yourself." So whether it's a pour over coffee, whether it's uh you know taking time, this is my new thing this week, is um, uh, hibiscus tea, which All is right. absolutely amazing. And it's I I find that that a hot drink in a mug, typically I don't have a top, but a hot drink without a top, actually is my way of slowing down. Mm, yeah. It just makes me because it's hot. I gotta, and I have an open coffee mug. It actually makes me just relax a little bit, slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's important. That's it, why Lolly has all those mugs in her background. That's that's right. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. And I and I got all these mugs in in my background. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> They some jacked up mugs. <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, man, uh, one thing that I one one great thing that I'm I'm noticing, why well, I notice as a result of the last, you know, last week's or week before last podcast that came out, I got man 200 more subscribers on my YouTube page, which is insane. Uh, nice, an insane amount of because you know, my growth is. My social media growth is really it's slow but steady. Yeah, <laughs> and um, and I, you know, my my comedy special, seven jokes I couldn't tell at church, is uh, man, I'm really starting to push that a little bit more. Just uh, you know, cool. so if anybody would like to go, we should to- drop a link to it. Yeah, maybe we, I will drop a link. Well, I send it cool. to Lolly and yeah. let her do it. Maybe well, I'll put it here. She says no. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't go do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll let me pull it up right here. But it's man, as it's as you see, man, growth is growth is encouraging, but growth is also takes management. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so you know, I, what I like about growth is the way that it makes you evaluate where you are. What to do? What you need to do to maintain the growth, or or to be good stewards of the growth? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 interesting with growth. It, it takes management, uh, but it, it also, of course, takes leadership, which is the ability to not micromanage. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, man, it's like it's like there's there's so many people with their individual skill sets that are involved in the soapstone. And they're all growing at slightly different paces, you know, but the overall platform that's that's on all this, you know, it, it's got to kind of you got to have a little bit of flexibility to, to let it kind of grow together and, um, you know, let everybody. Oh, there's there it is. Yep. Comedy special right there. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, Mama Bree says hello. Hello. Uh, Mama sorry, Bree's in the building. No big deal. We'll start over. <laughs> don't 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 <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> oh man 
Yeah, this is this is good. It's uh, in the in this uh, today, yesterday a little bit today, and and tomorrow, and then uh, and then Thursday. It's all it's all on again. And uh, actually, Bart commented, "What's uh, what's happening this weekend?" Actually, maybe we should get, bring Lolly back out. What Perfect you timing. You want to start talking about what's coming up? Let's. Uh... Hey hey. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, like you said, it was a crazy week with you out here in LA, and that was really fun. And we'll see uh, more about that later, right? So that'll be fun. And then oh, yeah. uh, this weekend is Laugh Fest in uh, Michigan, and a whole bunch of our team is headed out that way, which is kind of cool. And anybody apparently that's in that area could go as well, right? For sure, for sure. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and it's called Laugh Fest with uh, Mr. Grins, right? Yeah, kind of Dr. Okay. Grins, yeah. He, yeah, he graduated. Okay. So, Aaron, why don't you tell them all about that? <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah, that was, of course, so fun uh, to be out in LA and see you and go to dinner and stuff. And then now, um, now this uh, this week, a lot of our team gets to come to Grand Rapids and hang out. Uh, so yeah. that's gonna be that's gonna be so cool um, to be able to see everybody and have have a meal or even a couple meals together and uh, go see some comedy. Uh, yeah, this Laugh Fest, of course, is a super special um, event for me. That's where I first got my start in comedy. The first time I ever stepped on stage was part of a Laugh Fest show, and uh, to be and the 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 adventure that that started has <laughs> just been incredible. And then on top of that, Gilda's Club, you know, which is the organization behind Laugh Fest, uh, they exist to help support people through a journey through grief, um, you know, and or cancer, you know, mm -hmm. so very sad, serious, somber times that uh, people are going through and they exist to, to support them through that journey. Wow. Um, that's, that's really cool. I didn't know that part. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. And you know, our team should, should really, uh, learn what they're going to be. What, what should I say? They have no idea what special things are being done for them for this weekend. I've heard little tiny things, but you know, uh, those things are just happen. Somebody makes those things happen. So yeah. uh, kudos to those people who are making those things happen. So I'm, I, I'm really happy for everybody that's getting to go. It's going to be a special time. Indeed. And, and also with that, the, um, you know, a lot of our team is going to be in Grand Rapids physically. Uh, so other people on our team, yourself included, are stepping up in the metaverse to, again, to to be that solid foundation that some of us can turn our attention towards something else temporarily and mm -hmm. know that things are, are going to be happening. So, yeah, yeah it's going to be fun for everybody. So we're going to all be together just in a different way. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Really but that show um, and what we're doing is we're actually. Um, it's going to be a hybrid show. Uh, audience in virtual reality is going to be super limited, of course, um, because we could only fit so many in the room. And signups have already happened on that. Um, and we've got those slots filled. But if anybody is in the relative geographic area of Grand Rapids, they can come out and be a part of the, the live uh, IRL studio audience for that. Um, uh, Grins can fit about 150 people. Um, and uh, we've covered all the costs, so there's no cost to attend that. You know, people are on their own here. for transportation, cool for parking, for food, whatever, you know. Um, but uh, but the, the ticket, we got the ticket covered. And again, we've made that free for the first 150 people that, that come out. That's amazing. I was shocked at how many people do live in that area. I yeah, meet people yeah. from Michigan all the time. So I was starting to wonder, is that where like, is that like, uh, you know, ground zero for the goggles? I mean, how did that happen? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm sure there's hubs all over the place like that. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of those things, like if you buy a new pair of shoes, you end up seeing them everywhere. Yeah. But, <laughs> but as soon as Michigan's kind of on your map, you're like, oh, there's a lot of people from Michigan. There <laughs> is. There yeah. really is. So what a yeah. great time for everybody. I, I'm, I'm so jealous I don't get to go, but I do get to go. So I'm excited anyway. Yeah, I'll be yeah. there anyway. Yeah. So well, yeah, who we are. Yeah. And and Grand Rapids, you know, it's really a cool city um, because the comedy scene, is, you know, it's not L.A. or it's not New York City, um, but it's uh, it's it's accessible. You know, people can can find comedy in Grand Rapids and and decide they want to do it and find stage time and be able to perform and be able to work up skill sets. 
uh, there's a good uh, community of, of comedians uh, in Grand Rapids that that are uh, accepting of other people in that. Uh, and then also Grand Rapids is uh, like slowly kind of positioning itself to become a little bit of a tech hub. Uh, so uh, so that's uh, that's pretty cool as well. So, yeah, good things happening uh, again. Saturday at, at 1 30 p.m. Eastern is what time the IRL show starts uh, at Dr. Grin's, which is in the Bob downtown Grand Rapids. Um, but people should really be there, uh, you know, at least by one, uh, to make sure they get a spot and everything. So, yeah, yeah. Happening. Uh, is Jason coming back or um, I, I, don't, I, I, um, <laughs> I don't see him backstage. I think he had to, uh, log off. So that's okay. Oh, okay. Because, okay. uh, because we're, I think we're, I think we've covered it. I think we did it. <laughs> okay, well, do we want to just talk about the show that's on the billboard and that kind of stuff, or are we just? Yeah. Okay, uh, because let's... I realized that I wasn't here last week, so I didn't talk about it anyway. Okay, so. oh, yeah, talk about yeah, yeah for sure. Okay. Let's talk so, about it. Yeah, let's Spotlight do that real quick. So our featured show last week and, and still uh, featured right now is the Musician Showcase, and why not? Because it's one of our biggest shows, and boy, the talent coming out of that place is amazing. You know, if you're lucky mm -hmm. enough to get a spot on there, because I know it's pretty popular, uh, Ashman Media films it almost every week, videos go up. So people get a lot of recognition being part of that karaoke show that maybe another stage wouldn't afford them. So it's a great place to be. Ari does a great job hosting. I it's a super fun show. Uh, so that's our featured show of the week. So I will turn it back over to you and Jason. Don't leave. All right. <laughs> All right. I think that does it. Let's go. What do you think? You ready for the week? Dude, I'm ready for the week, man. I'm ready to make some things happen. Yeah. Well, hey, send me uh send me your guys' info, man. The sure. um the marketing guy. We'll do. For I sure. need help. I'm too busy. Yeah, David and Brooke. <laughs> David uh, and Brooke. Yep, yep. I'll uh, I'll shoot you his contact for sure. Owen at David and Brooke. <laughs> All right, my friends, thank you so much for being a part of the Soapstone uh, and a part of Well Metaverse. We are on this adventure together and we'll see you soon. Come along.